Hi, it's me, and I am back with verse number eight of 40 Verses for Difficult Days. I don't know about you, but I've received gifts in my life that I wished I could return. This is such a gift. Let's find out what's inside. We have some tests, some challenges, some pressures. Not my idea of a nice gift. How about you? I don't think anyone would think those are good gifts. But the Word of God has something to tell us about things like that. In James 1, it says, verses 2 to 4, Consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so you become mature and well-developed, not deficient in any way. So the Word of God tells us that when these things show up on our doorstep, doesn't matter how they're wrapped, we should consider them a gift. Now, the Bible's not telling us, and be very, I want to be very clear on this point, the Bible is not telling us that these are a gift from God, that we should consider them a gift from God. He's saying we should consider them a gift because of what God can do through them and with them as we yield our life to God. Let's read the New King James Version. I think it clarifies that a little better. It says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. So it's God at work through the Holy Spirit in our life, using patience to produce the perfection of Christ in us. So we should count that as joy. We should, we should consider it a joyful thing when when we when these hard things come our way, not because we're happy to have them, not because we wouldn't wish they would go away, but because we know if we'll trust the Lord in the midst of it, if we'll be patient and trust the Lord, he's going to use those things to perfect us and make us into the image of Christ. And we'll be lacking nothing. We'll be complete. That's what that's what that tells us. Well-developed, not deficient in any way. We want to be well-developed and not deficient in any way, physically and spiritually. It's important. It's important, especially in the day we live in, that we be the strongest Christians we can be. Life is difficult. Things are difficult right now. There's no, there's no, uh, no joke. Of, there's nothing, you know, there, there's no two ways about it. Things are hard. And for some of us, things are very hard. So we don't rejoice in the bad things that happen, but we count it as joy for the sake of what Christ can do as we trust him. And that's the key. As with all the promises of God, they are dependent on our obedience to the Lord. So let's pray. I want to pray for you because I know that some of you are facing some really difficult situations. And I don't want you to ever think that I consider that a small affair. It's a very big deal. It's a hard thing. And God knows it's a hard thing. God knows it's not easy, but he's given us the Holy Spirit. And if we'll trust the Lord, if we'll trust him, he's going to do a work 
in us that will make it seem like what happened was a gift. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just we just worship you right now. I just glorify your name and I thank you, Lord, because God, you are the only God who can who can take the troubles of life and turn them into something that is good for us. How you do it is a mystery. It's a mystery of your spirit at work in us. And I just pray, Father, for those today who are going through a very difficult season. They're facing more than just a, a difficult day. They're having a really difficult time with, with this with perhaps they've lost a loved one, perhaps they've lost a job, perhaps they're sick themselves. There's so many, so many hard things facing people today. I just ask Lord God that in the midst of the trial, they would know that you're there. And I pray they would call out to you and they would trust you in a new way. Father, we have to thank you for these hard things that happen. Even though they're not from you, we thank you because we know that you can use them to do beautiful things in our life, to perfect us and make us into the image of your son, to complete us and cause us to become the men and women that, that you have created us to be. And for that, we can thank you and we can rejoice. And I bless you for that. And I pray, Lord, that those that may be struggling with this message, that maybe maybe are, are having a hard time believing, give them the faith to believe right now. Just bless them with faith to believe that, God, you are present. You are available to them. They only need to call out and ask you to help. I thank you, Lord Jesus for being with us every day, every hour, and every moment. We need you more than ever, God. And I thank you, Jesus, that you've given us the Holy Spirit to help us carry on and get through. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, God bless you. And I really just want to extend an invitation. If you have a prayer request, Please don't hesitate to leave a leave the request in the comment, or you can uh, you can message us um, through you know the various social media. If you do not have a Bible, because having a word the Bible a Bible of your own is very important today. It's a it's an essential tool for life. So if you don't have a Bible and you need one, just let us know. We'd be happy to make sure you get one. God bless you. I'm praying for you right now. I'm praying for you. Bye-bye.